I want my MTV. The aerobics craze. Keith Haring, Basquiat, John Hughes films, and The Walkman. Get ready to take another trip down the rabbit hole to the 1980s. This is another series of time travel. This is Scott Barnes TV, and I'm your host, Scott Barnes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. But first, let's go to the 80s. Hey, welcome to the 80s. Hey guys, we finally made it to the 80s. We love the ladies of the 80s, right? So I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the likes and the comments that you guys have been giving me and the sharing of this content. First of all, it's been a real labor of love. I took my lovely model, Lakin, and we've gone from 1900 to 1920, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and we finally landed here in the 80s, and we're gonna continue to go into the future. But I wanted to just say thank you guys for making this so successful. Thank you for all the likes, comments, and the sharing. God bless you guys. I think when I was going through the tunnel, I lost Lakin somewhere. Lakin! Oh, hey guys. Ooh, just finished up my aerobics. John Travolta was there. Was it he fun? Was. It was totally rad. They didn't invite me. Sorry. Maybe next decade. So we were just talking. We went through 1900s, yeah. the 20s, yes. the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and now we're in the 80s. What was your favorite one so far? They were all amazing. I'm really loving the 70s that we did last week. That's good. That hasn't come out yet. Oh. By the time this airs, they have, they have. seen it. <laughs> yeah. What about you? I love the 70s because yeah. it's my inspiration mm -hmm. period. The 80s were cool, and a lot happened in the 80s, and we're going to dive into that in a second. First of all, this is when I kind of was getting out of high school and I moved to New York City in 1986, 1987. Scott's so on the scene. It was happening for me. And it was tough. Talk about the aerobics. Aerobics were mm -hmm. huge in the 80s. Big deal. There were so many celebrities in the 80s that came out. With so they weren't just doing perfume. They weren't just doing perfume. So they made the transition. We had VHS tapes. The iconic Richard Simmons, Jane Fonda, Cher, and even Olivia Newton-John with Let's Get Physical, i.e. The Let's Get Physical. Do you know what these were called? These little sideburns? I do not. They were called triggers. Ooh. Yes. In hair cutting terms, those were triggers. Frank cut the swig. Amazing job. I don't That's even know how he did this. I was like, what is that? Yeah. He's like, it's Olivia Newton John's hair from the 80s. It's and I was identical. like, yeah, he's yeah. like, every single woman, this was the haircut yeah. craze. Look at all these women with this haircut. Raquel Welch chopped her hair. Yeah. Jane Fonda had yeah. cut her hair off. Olivia Newton John was really the first one to sure. like chop it and she made it famous. It was like, everybody was like, it was a haircut. It was right. a thing. We loved those aerobic 80s people. They were amazing. Let's talk about 80s fashion. Bold styles, lots of permed hair, ripped tights. Thanks to Madonna. Biker jacket. Thanks to Madonna. Hoop skirt. Thanks to Madonna. She had a real impact on style in the 80s. It was like the Madonna wannabe was born. Yeah. Bracelets. Lots of them. Neon. Um, short nails, white nails. You know what was amazing? It was raw energy. And that's Definitely. a reason why people kind of adhere to it right. so much. Joan Jett, Joan Collins. It was just like an eclectic era of fashion. Because you had like Dynasty, which was literally like Nolan Miller. Glitzy dresses with massive shoulder pads. And then we sure. had Madonna, which was all ripped up in street. Right. It was such a juxtaposition. And then you had break dancers who were yeah. wearing Adidas track suits like mine. Hip hop came out. Yeah. Yes, we love this. You you were saying earlier, it was like the 80s was like on speed. Just tons of gas <laughs> with no brake. I feel like that catchphrase really kind of emphasizes It encapsulates what, the 80s, yeah. yeah. Well, it was also the birth of the yuppie. Yeah. And if you guys don't know what a yuppie was, it was a derogatory term for people that were like young and rich and obnoxious. And all the people would be like, those damn yuppies. So let's talk about makeup. I did your foundation already and we used a little bit of glow mm -hmm. on you. Just a little bit. I used platinum pave powder. Amazing. So I'm gonna just hit your bones a little bit with it. Mm -hmm. Right here, the front. And into your deck balletage. Pretty, right? Deck the Latage with balls of holly. Makeup again now was not glowy like mm -hmm. it was in the 70s. We were into a lot of foundation. <laughs> yeah, it was cover up. It was like cover it. And it was a lot of a lot of. And blush was really strong. I can call it credit card blush. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a little bit of credit card blush. What you wanna do is you wanna grab the cheekbone. And I don't know if you guys remember those Patrick Nagel paintings from the 80s, but where the blush was really sharp and there was a really sharp line. 
See that? Boom. Check it. Turn it. Yes. What's our notes on this? Music. Olivia Newton John. Yes. Let's get physical. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Beat it. And, and Billie also Jean. Billie Jean in 1982. Iconic classics. And Cyndi Lauper with Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. It was always like who came first, Madonna or Cyndi Lauper, because they were very Ooh. sim, kind of competing. All right, let's get the other side. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's so easy to put your blush on like this. This is so fun. Credit card blush. I love it. You use your credit card. See that? Amazing. It was blush. Blush was fun. That was rosé too. I just used a little bit of rosé and, and I used a credit <laughs> card. But that wasn't really a credit card. That was a note card. A cue card. <laughs> An index card. She's pretty. I like this. She's cute. She was bold, but she was also ready to get physical. She was in it. She was going to win it. Olivia and John, amazingly enough, was like Australian. She kind of became this American pop princess. It's kind of interesting. Didn't she start off doing more like country? And she kind did. Of have an evolution. She evolved. I'm using the glowy and showy palette, and I'm using Pinkaboo and Pink Crush just on the cheeks. I'm gonna give it that like nice '80s highlighter, sweaty. Just finished my workout. In fact, let's really go there. Let's use a little bit of dewy <gasps> set from Ooh. Anastasia. She's blingy. Look at that glow. Wow. So now you just got done working out and you're sweating. I think I feel like I need some too. Get some. Get in it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I feel wet, but good. Nice. Refreshed. Refreshed? Yeah. I don't really talk about a lot of stuff, but this is from Frank and my private collection. This is Andy Mouse. It is Keith Haring and Warhol kind of together. Andy Mouse. Keith was such a huge part of the 80s yeah. to me. Living in New York, he was doing like sidewalk art and there was paintings on the side of buildings. He was really responsible for that AIDS movement too yeah. and art recognition with the AIDS movement. Right. He holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts for that yeah. reason. So we love him. Let's go a little color in the lip. Okay. I am going to select a lip pencil. I think we should do Karen, because she's a little bit on the pinky side, just because of your ensemble. Yeah. So we need a good color for the lip. If anybody has any idea of why, like what's their favorite Scott Barnes lip pencil? Ooh, good question. And why? Because they're nudes, but like they're kind of sick. I'm going to do your whole lip with that. Okay. I just want to. I use to. Karen and Claudia quite frequently. Do you? Claudia's uh -huh. good. Claudia's nice because you can kind of go brighter or you can kind of stay in the new family yeah. as well. So. That's what's great about it, but I think it's really geared more towards blondes. You know what I mean? Okay. Because it's such a pale shade. Yeah. Hence. Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> So you weren't even thought of yet in the 80s. No. Isn't that amazing? My parents actually got married in 88. I was like out of high school and going into college. Really? Yeah, that's like messed up. I have a theory about okay. the whole aerobics craze in the 80s. Yes, tell me. Everybody was so reckless in the 70s. They were <laughs> like, they needed a we back. have to clean up our act a little bit because we're like dirty whores. Yeah. That Drank and smoke that. and did too many drugs and had sex with everybody. And everybody was like, okay, let's get healthy. Let's get physical. Let's get physical. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what Let's Get Physical was originally what they thought it was going to be? I heard something about that. It was written for like Rod Stewart. So even the song Let's Get Physical by uh -huh. Olivia Newton John, it right. was actually intended for a man, which a lot of people don't know. It was one of the best songs of the 1980s decade. And they initially thought that maybe someone like Rod Stewart would be the one. That sexy. makes sense. You remember that? Do you think I'm sexy, Rod Stewart? Yeah. You're right. I mean, I... It was kind of like Let's Get Physical was like the follow up to that. It was supposed okay. to be like the dessert. I think Olivia Newton John took it. It was written for a man. Maybe. Then she took it and okay. then ran with it. Yeah, I can see that. It does seem like a little raunchy. saucy and raunchy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was sassy, <laughs> definitely. Woman. Speaking of sassy, I'm going to use Hey Sis. I think she's going to be the right amount of 80s-ness with this ensemble that we have going on. This is gonna be a really easy look today. Yeah. We're doing a lot of fashion things today. We're gonna do a little stuff with like Molly Ringwald, a little Ooh. bit of fashion stuff for our photo shoot. It's good to start with the real 80s situation. That's pretty. Super pretty. I love Hey Sis. This is one of my... It's a great color. Yeah. Did I give this to you yet? Yes, I think okay. I have this. You have so much stuff. Right? I have You're so like, much stuff. <laughs> You're like, I have so much stuff. I feel stuff. so lucky. <laughs> Now, just a little tip, you guys. When you're doing your lips and you want the lips to look really full, I always pull it in the opposite direction, like out to the edge. That's and it, the ticket. And it works really well. Pretty, right? Beautiful. She's cute. She's sporty. She's cute. She's fabulous. Now, let's talk about TV from the 80s. TV mm -hmm. from the 80s was, in my opinion, some of the best shows that came out. 
were in the 80s, Dynasty. Love Dynasty. I mean, who didn't? One of the big things that came out in the 80s too was MTV in 1981, Duh. which was huge for music videos. And, and if I'm not mistaken, you've done almost 300. 286 to be exact. Wow. We love MTV. And I want my <laughs> MTV. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, oh my God, I did That's a so lot cool. of stuff. But it was my favorite medium yeah. to work in because it was a marriage of film right. and fashion. And they were like little quick movies about beauty and fashion. Fun short films almost yeah. in a way. There's a lot of artistic license. Yeah. It's a movie you're like, continuity, continuity, continuity. Right. The music video, it's like, eh, who cares? She changed. Let's do the brows. I feel like I need to frame you out a little bit. Sure. Brows were a big thing. They were big and bushy. Ooh. Thanks, bro. Thanks, in case, Brooke In case you're watching, we love the Brooke look. You know, there was like a whole thing in the 80s when people would say, Brooke look was like, they would model. I'm using Dynasty. Snatch, by the way. I'm gonna show you guys. Snatch. She's blonde. In the 80s, there were also, aside from MTV, some really great TV shows. Dynasty. Did you not love Dynasty? I love Dynasty. How about the cat fights on Dynasty? They were so dramatic. How about Sammy Joe? Sammy Joe, Heather Locklear. One of my favorite people Amazing. ever. Aww. I do love Heather Locklear. She's awesome. Yeah. She's super cool. Feeling a little browsy. Big and bushy. Big and bushy. Sounds like a problem. The A team was big. You also had Alf. I sometimes feel like I look like Elf. You do not look like <laughs> Elf. Married with Children. One Which of the best shows ever. Christina Applegate, forget about it. Al Bundy yeah. himself, amazing. What a great cast. And Al was just always so annoyed with the whole thing. Over it. The kids, the wife, the work. And he was a shoe salesman. And then my favorite, uh -oh. the Golden Girls. Those were some women that had really covered some issues that people were just, were taboo and not touching. And I think because they were older, older. it made it okay. I agree with that. It was like your grandmother talking. There was so much wisdom and humor and wit, and I agree with you. I think because of the age, they were able to touch things that other TV shows couldn't at the time. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the Snatchel palette. Look at how it's gorgeous. This let's get physical look does not require a lot of makeup, guys. I'm going to hit it with Femme, because Femme's got a little shimmer in it. Shimmery, she's brown. I'm gonna use Woody, too. We're just gonna hollow out the lid a little bit, go right in for a cut crease using the fluffer brush number 62, which is by far my best-selling brush. Everybody's obsessed with her. And for obvious reasons, she's got great shape, she's sexy, she's got sex appeal. Now, when I go to blend, I don't blend always out. I blend it in toward the nose, guys. Just a little heads up. It's pretty. I just used foundation and powder as an eyelid primer. I just wanted it to look like skin. I didn't want it to stand out as a shade within its own shade. Again, cut crease. We're working in a reverse. Now, lashes weren't like a big thing. Cher never let go of the lash. <laughs> like, she was like, mm, no. She's still hanging on she, to it. She kept it. God bless her, because we're using them today. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't really care. It's our party and we can do what we want to. Look up for me. Now I'm using the same color with a winger brush and we're just gonna drop this down a little bit. What was great about Olivia Newton-John mm -hmm. is that she was kind of amazing in everything she did. Yeah. You know what I mean? She was beautiful. She could sing. She could act. She could dance. Mm -hmm. She was really like a triple threat. She picked really good projects. She had a really good gut instinct for what to do and what not to do. Yeah, she made great career choices. Smart. Let's <laughs> use Temptation. Ooh. She's not really black, she's not really brown. She's Temptation. And I'm using brush number 60. It's a rounded brush, it's not so chiseled because I still want to get the roundness in the eye. This brush doubles as a lip brush too, which I love. Just gives you that little bit of intensity that you need. And sometimes you don't want black. Yeah. Sometimes you just want the intensity in a brown. I feel like there's kind of a purple undertone. It is. It's got a which little. Which is beautiful. Right. Which for somebody with light eyes is great. Purple is one of my go to colors if somebody's yeah. really brown eyed too. Okay. Because it'll turn the brown eye into a gold. Oh, wow. Yeah. The way the colors. Yeah. Play. 
since we're talking about makeup, what was really interesting is eyeliner was heavy, it was thick, it was raccoon. We're gonna do a little bit of that. Mascara was colored sometimes and sometimes it wasn't. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of colored mascara. Okay. I have to be honest with you. I'm not either. <laughs> I love it when it is on a macro shot. When sure. I'm talking like you're just seeing somebody's eye and the makeup's really beautiful and you got that pop of color. Mm -hmm. But to walk around with bright blue eyelashes, it's a little weird. Yeah, it's Gotta a lot. tell you. I did go to the drugstore. It's L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Let's look and see how blue this actually wow. is. That's it's like blue. Cobalt. Kind of smells like lavender too. All right, so sure. we'll get into that in a second. Some of you have lived through the 80s, some of you were born after the 80s, but let's talk about you ladies from the 80s who actually mm -hmm. know what this is. That's right, it's the Expert Eyes Black Velvet Eyeliner from Maybelline. Girls in the bathroom in high school, you know who you are. Wood pencil and a lighter. Yeah. It was really an 80s thing. Wow. Now, there was a whole trick to this, right? So you would get this to a little bit of a mushy, you see the shine on it because it's yeah. melting, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And then you didn't want to put this in your eye hot because that was probably not the wisest idea, but she was softer. Okay. But the great thing about this is such a firm formula, and that's why it still works, okay. is that once it cools down, it doesn't move. Huh. Ah, that was that's the whole deal. Good. So look up for me, where it's like, other pencils are super duper soft, and girls would be in the bathroom smoking in school. Smoking. Smoking in the boys' room. See? Are you like burning off? You just yeah. want it to be soft. Okay. See how soft this is? It's too soft. Yeah. And then you would get like chunks of black in your eye too, and it would like settle underneath your contact lens. The whole third period, you're literally like squinting, and That's yeah, so it was just awful. What a time to be alive. Yeah, great. But I do remember this being way blacker and darker than it is right now. How do you feel about that? It's bold. It's nice. I feel it on my hand. It's not coming off. It's like literally on there for life. <laughs> it's like candle wax. Though. Well, you want to round it out. Let's put it in your eye. <laughs> yeah, let's stick it in your eye right now. Nice burnt wood shards. Burnt wood, yeah. Well, listen, they were using burnt matchsticks in 1900. We've I, already gone yeah. through that, so this isn't weird. This type of bright. This, this is evolution a, is better. It is. It's, it's like, better. oh, hey, we're just going to take some coal out of the <laughs> oven and just stick it in your eye and make go. an eyebrow out of it. OK, she's perfect. Awesome. Yeah, 1900s, man. I'm going in deep, I'm sorry. It's okay. And I'm just gonna go right along the lash line. Lakin acts like we're killing her, which is always the best. Sorry, It's guys. so good for camera when she looks like, oh my God, you're gonna rip my eyeballs out of my head. I say this all the time. Light-eyed models, people with lighter eyes, they flutter more than yeah. people with darker eyes. It's, I, it's, it's a thing. Mind. I mean, it doesn't hurt. You've never hurt me. I trust you completely. You're just cute. It's like a visceral somatic response. I want to use something on you just because of the 80s did come out and yeah. I usually like go to my pumped up mascara after we've done a few reps of like pumped up now we're gonna be like maxed out so this is my new mascara it's coming out and it is thick and rich is and exciting. luxurious check Ooh, out the brush that's gorgeous. she's got an hourglass brush oh, you hourglass can, figure. she's fat she's silky she's sexy take a look down and this is a mascara that's thick and builder in the 80s people did not wear falsies but they glopped on the mascara <laughs> It was literally spiders, and the more the better. I remember seeing women's eyelashes, and I'd be like thinking in my head as a kid. Like horrified. Yeah, it was a lot of mascara, and I'm like, wow, that looks painful, because they don't move, and a lot of times people were using waterproof. That's pretty. She's a little natural. She's natural. She's natural, but snatched. Snatched. So this is the new mascara, Maxed Out, and she is lovely. That's beautiful, Scott. I love formulating mascara. That's why everybody loves the first one so much because mm -hmm. it really works. It was meant to work with false lashes as well. So that's maxed out. She's not low calorie. She's definitely high calorie. She's high calorie. She's thick. She's dense. She's rich. We love her. Let's talk about nails for a second. Yoko. Shout out to Yoko. I mean, how amazing were those? These are so fun. I love the neon green. It matches the artwork. I love it. Let's talk about the 80s for a second. Either nails were really long with a lot of detail artwork on it. Yoko's prepared some stuff for us. I'm blown away by what she did. This was the other style, which was either white or neon or multicolored across the board. So I'm gonna go in with the temptation now into the cut crease area and open and open and open and wow. That's the same color that we put on the bottom mm -hmm. that you said was like a little bit purpley brown. Yeah. Oh wow, it looks almost like a sienna. It could be, it could I love be. That. We should actually call Bob Ross and see what he's up to because <gasps> Bob Ross came out in the 80s Oh my too, God, I love show. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. 
us. Let's put Amazing. a little tree right into your happy cut little crease. tree. And there's like a little squirrel jumping up and down on your eyelid right now. Look at how pretty he is. So happy. And we have a happy little brook. There he is. Just babbling by. <laughs> My grandmother and I used to watch painting with Bob Ross and we would paint together. That's so cute. Yeah. You don't watch it? I watch it on a daily basis now. He's very relaxing. He's so soothing. Or is our little tiny winger brush. Not Deborah Winger, just a winger. You still remember. She's turning into something. I don't know what, but she's turning into it. Pretty. She's a nice lady. Mm -hmm. She could be. Yeah, she's not like the ones that used to roll around on the car hood. <laughs> concealer today. Mm -hmm. I used Makeup Forever. For television, it's great for all the lights that are around us. This is a really great formulation. And this is really user-friendly if you're a makeup artist because it fits nicely in your kit. Thank you, Makeup Forever. You guys are amazing. Shout out to Jay Million. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of their good. best artists over there. We all love amazing. Jay. So give him some love. If you guys need any products, go to Jay. He'll help you with whatever you need. He helps us all the time. I'm using my new highlighter, which is Downright Dewy. Coming out it's soon. Downright it's downright dewy. I'm using it on your brow bone because I feel like that's where it needs to go. I love bit. the nose. So pretty. Okay. I can't resist. I have to lash. I want to use Madison because she just feels oh, like good. everything that we need and a bag of chips. Yes. Madison is a mink lash. What's great about mink lashes is if you take care of them, you can use them up to 20 times. And I'm going to give you guys a slight lesson on how to use them. You're gonna hang onto the form. You're not gonna destroy the form when you take the lash off. You're gonna keep it gently. And you're gonna park them back on the form. Then you're gonna take a little bit of alcohol on a swab and you're gonna clean them. That's how you reuse them. You let them dry, fluff them back up. They're good as new. As long as you treat them well, they'll treat you well. It's a good investment. It's not a one and done. And you can recycle it a bunch. Just a little FYI. So music wise, who were some of your favorite artists? Cause I know you were really into music. Who were some of the favorite bands or singers or artists that you listened to? I listened to a lot of Erasure and I was a little bit more into the alternative group. Okay. I like all kinds of music. In 1983, mm -hmm. Bonnie Tyler, classic, Total, Total Eclipse, Eclipse of the Heart. Everybody, everybody loved it. it. It's like an iconic 80s song. Well, because it builds and everybody yeah. loved that build. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like, you know, with the turnaround thing. Absolutely. Wham, 1984. George Michael up. was George amazing. George Michael's incredible. We miss him already. Yeah. Madonna, Material Girl. That was some raw energy there just coming at you. And amazing. And she's from my hometown. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. From Detroit. She's a good girl. We breed good people over there. Over there? Over there. Really talented people. A lot of like talented people. people come out of Detroit. <laughs> Obviously, the iconic Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. Everything was so good about that video. Even the fact so that fun. her hair didn't match her bangs at all. <laughs> like, there was something else going on in the back that was going on in the front. Yeah. It was just it like... It was a bit of a disconnect, but... What? Yeah. Still awesome. Whitney can do no wrong. One of the greatest voices to ever, 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 ever. 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 Yeah. There's this hands down. I'm letting this dry. Okay. Again, callus glue, as I always use. Just, it's my go-to glue. I love it. There's no reason to use anything else. I have Duo, just in case, but Duo for me doesn't dry quick enough, and it just, and I don't feel like it sticks. Especially when you're hitting it with wind fans, and they're, one's flying off. You're like, you're looking for it. You're like, where did it go? There's grab it. And I feel like when you're doing like double stacks and stuff like that, this is the go-to glue because they stay together. Because yeah. sometimes when you start stacking things, I do not like that. Team Callus. It's just about ready. We can do movies? Yeah, let's okay. do movies. Let's do movies. Okay, 1986. See it? 1986. 1986. All right, I okay. like 1986. 1986, Pretty in Pink, Molly Ringwald, one of the iconic classic Hello. movies. Hello, John Hughes. All right, let's just talk about John Hughes for a second. Pretty yes. in Pink, Breakfast Club, yes. Uncle uh, Buck, Vacation. Yeah. John Hughes, you changed a whole generation of people. Glue in the sin. Chin down from me and whoop, look up just, whoop, whoop. not too, yeah, it's a lot of looking up. Hold on, stay still. Don't move. Oh, she just went in perfectly today. She had her coffee. Ready to partay. Hold on, do you look like drunk girl? Hold on, that's it. Let's get the wig hair out of your eyeball because that'll help. Better, it's fitting on your eye better. Yeah, feels good. good. With that, I'm gonna take 
the pumped up mascara, and I'm gonna show you how I marry your lash with the fakey. You can either use a brush or you can use the lash brush that comes with this. I like using this because I can comb them straight where they're like all together. Cute, she's cute. We got a cute out of me. Second shot. Yeah, <laughs> do another shot. Back to movies. Die Hard, 1988, Bruce Great. Willis, Love. Iconic. Action. Back to the Future. Funny. E.T. Phone home. Gertrude's Day Off. Anybody, anybody? Bueller. Bueller. The yep. Color Purple. Love that movie. And The Breakfast Club. All those movies were great. Very impactful, yeah, changed yeah. our lives, changed the way we look at people, changed the way we look at things, and that's what movies are supposed to yeah. do. They shouldn't be one faceted thing. So there were tons of fun inventions that came out of the 80s as well. The Pac-Man game, Mr. Pac-Man. 1980s. They were eating ghosts. Like, think about that for a second. <laughs> it was like the original Ghost Hunters before there was Ghost Hunters. Yeah, I've actually never thought of it. Disposable cameras. That was fun. Let me take a selfie. Let me drop it off. <laughs> Let me get it developed. And then I'll send it to you. Yeah, okay. or we can put it in our scrapbook. Scrapbooking was a thing. It was fun. Um, no. Not for me. Go ahead. <laughs> Personal computers. 1984. Apple Macintosh was actually one of the first to develop the personal computer. And now it's destroyed the world, so I hope that was fun. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. There she blows. 1980, Mount St. Helens erupts. She went. Early 1980s cell phones weighed almost 20 pounds. Was it a cell phone or was it a mobile phone? It was a bag connected to an old bag. All right, okay. let me put this lash on. Why is it really a jump up somewhere? I, know. I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Every time, he never goes, hey, let me just get in the cut. It's always like, no, I want to go way above and beyond. Do you like her? I do. She's sitting like she's supposed to. Everyone had a boombox. And those were like 26 pounds. Those were like 26 pounds. Mm -hmm. And Remember? Red Bull was introduced in 87. They've been giving us wings Ever since, since 87. Do you think the formula's changed? It's probably more cracky than it was back then. <laughs> Something's telling me it was probably just a little, like, a little, little more. Happy. Yeah, you gotta up the ante for people. They're like, that doesn't do anything to me. They're desensitized. Yeah, yeah, totally. She's open, she's ready, she's alive. Yes, she's cute. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave comments. You know I love your comments. And I'm gonna leave you with the beautiful lake in here so that she can do a little glam to camp for you. And I'll see you guys at the photo shoot. See you okay. at the photo shoot. Sounds good. Right, I'll then. see you there. Bye. Thanks, guys.